welcome to the Aramco Powered by House studio. Another special guest. We're so lucky in here. Celine Boutier, thank you for joining us. Welcome. Last time I saw you, you just won a major and the Scottish back to back. Yeah, it was good memories. <laughs> Very yeah, good to memories. see you more often. I know, I'm a good Well, I came <laughs> after, so maybe that's. How's your season been this year? Uh, yeah, it's been good. A bit um, like of struggle at the beginning of the year, just getting my uh, long game in place. And then um, it's been kind of going pretty fast. I feel like it's always going that way. Um, but yeah, it's been good, just uh, steady, just looking for a little bit more putts to drop. But other than that, it's been okay. Thank you. And you've just traveled from Dallas, which is 30 hours. I asked one of the players earlier, give us a good jet lag tip because you have to perform. You have to be ready for this week. So what do you do? Any routines? Uh, I think for me, I just uh, never check the time back home. Yeah. I think that, that helps. <laughs> just uh, try to go on the, t on the local time all the time and just look at that and don't look at how, what time it is, uh, where you just came from. I think that just helps to f uh, focus the mindset on, uh, on what time it is uh, at the moment and then just try to you know, go out when the sun is out, just get some light in your, in your eyes, just kind of helps to wake you up. That's a very good tip. Now, we want more tips. Now, you are misconsistent in terms of playing. You've been very consistent this year, very consistent last year behind you here we go driving distance average 256 oh. yards drive accuracy with fairways hit 72 percent and greens in regulation 70 percent and i know for one if i could hit 70 percent of my greens i'd be buzzing i think most people at home as well so we want to talk to you about routines and what routines you do specifically that help you be so consistent with your golf uh, yeah i definitely try to keep it the same uh, keep it simple as well uh, just try not to have too many swing thoughts. I think that's always uh, helpful because you definitely need to transition, you know, from the range to the course. And when you're out on the course, you definitely want to be focused more um, on the target. So um, I kind of, uh, yeah, keep it the same, just uh, one or two practice swings. And when I get a good feel for what, I, what shot I want to hit, uh, I just kind of lock in on my target. And then from there, I try not to think about my swing or my technique unless I have maybe one swing thought at the moment but other than that I just try to be more reactive to the target and just hit. So that's a very good tip for everyone at home you're almost doing the technical work on the range and then when you get to your performance zone you just have one or two thoughts. Now we're going to get you to hit one <laughs> and I want you to be really specific to what sort of routines you have when you're actually out on the golf course like what do you need from your caddy to make sure you're ready to hit? Yeah, I think one thing that's also uh, very important is that you have to be clear about what shot you want to have and specifically for me what yardages I want to hit. Uh, I think when I'm kind of in between clubs or when I'm still unsure, you know, which way the wind is going or how much it's going to affect, when you're a little bit unsure, you kind of have more trouble committing to the shot and having um, less chance of hitting a solid one. So I would, I would say just ahead of time, just make sure you're actually clear about what shot you want to hit and how, what distance. So from my caddy, I definitely need the yardage, obviously, where you want to land and how it's playing, depending on, you know, the lie or like the wind conditions. And once that that's locked in, I just kind of just focus on that yardage that I want to hit and the target so where I want to go um, and then from there I just uh, pick a target where I want to aim um, and then just one or two practice swings get a good feel for it and then just aim and, and go perfect so yeah. let's say you want to hit a draw so let's see you go through that specifically what do you do with setup and then you know what sort of swings feel swing fills do you use to to get that right to left ball flight um yeah with the irons my natural shape is a draw already so i don't have to think too hard about it it's, it's like more I like this <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's more like when i have to fade that i have to think more about it but like for a draw like in general i think the setup will be um a little bit uh close with the um stance yes, just yeah aiming a little bit more right. To help the path. Uh, yes, and then from there, I kind of try to let my swing going a little bit more right with the closed club face, so that will help turn it back to the left. Perfect, and that is a perfect draw. Yeah. You've done this before. <laughs> and in so terms of visualizing, do you do anything? Let's see you hit um, one. Visualizing, I definitely just want to see where I want to start it and where I want to finish. And then also a helpful tip sometimes, um, if you don't want to uh, do too much, too many tricks with your swing. You can just aim your club face where you want to finish, and aim your feet where you want to start it. That's such and then a good you just tip. swing it naturally. So that's the easy way. Well yeah, done for simplifying it. Let's see one for us now. <laughs> yeah, sure. So you can do that now. Club yeah, face I at guess, target. I guess feet that's right the easy way. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's so good. Do you know what? I've been doing this for quite a while now and that is probably the best tip I've heard in all my years. Yeah, it makes it so much simpler. <laughs> yeah, um, which is what you need because this game is so difficult. Yeah. And Celine, you also did a degree in psychology. So we're going to finish with that. Oh my gosh. I want you to give us all a really good tip, you know, mentally to help you on the golf course because we know how much of a mental game it is. Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, uh, it's so, such a broad uh, topic. I feel like there's so many things that you could do. Um, for me, I, I feel like we've definitely touched on it, but for me it's definitely a lot about transitioning towards performance and not really technique and uh, having everything perfect, which is something I've struggled a bit in the past just because you always you know, want to hit perfect shots and good contacts and good whatever. But at the, uh, at the end of the day, what matters is the score and how many shots it takes to get in. So I feel like sometimes you have to kind of focus less towards there and um, towards here and more towards there and how you, you're going to get it done. So I think just focus more on like targets and how to get the ball in the hole rather than just like, you know, having perfect technique or perfect shots and um, just being able to, you know, score with what you have. And even sometimes when, you know, you're not, you know, chipping great or like your putting is not that good, I think sometimes you just tend to focus on that rather than just um, put it aside and just let's score and see later how you can improve, you know. Golf is not a game of perfect. Yes, it's so exactly. true. You've given so many good tips there. Oh, thank you. You know, that tied in with also understanding impact, the fact that you keep the club face on target and you open your feet, that's such a good, Mm -hmm. Such a good tip for everyone at home. Close your feet, sorry, I'm looking the wrong way around. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Hopefully you can use these this week and have a brilliant week here at the Aramco Team Series. Yes, thank you so thank much, Celine.